Okay, so here we're going to be looking at what's known as the ice cream vendor uh, game, sometimes known as ice cream vendor game. It goes back to Harold Hoteling in the 1920s and tries to um, understand why we, in some cases, see so little differentiation, why uh, when two parties competing, they seem to be offering the same, the same, uh, the same good or, or service or, or political platform, if you wish. Okay, uh, and it's also going to be an example of a Nash equilibrium with the continuous strategies. Okay, so um, the setting that we're thinking of um, is um, thinking the ice cream vendor problem. So there's going to be a beach. Okay, say that it's a uh, thousand meters wide. And there's going to be people all along the beach here, just packed, densely packed, uh, laying here. Uh, and um, these people are on the beach uh, might want to buy an ice cream uh, at some point during the day. Okay, so there are two uh, ice cream vendors. We call them Easty and Westy, E and W. And the question is, where should these ice cream vendors locate? Where should they put up their business? Okay, we assume that they're not competing on price. Uh, so price is given. Uh, you know, we could extend the model and let price uh, depend on on uh, where they locate, but for uh, this first uh, model, we we don't do that. We just think, you know, whatever the ice cream factory has, you know, they they set the price, and the vendors are uh, are bound by that. So these uh, swimmers, bathers, people on the beach uh, want to go to uh, potentially buy an ice cream, uh, and they want to go to the closest one. So they have a transport cost. The further they walk, the higher is their cost. Okay. So uh, a social planner, uh, where would uh, she place the ice cream vendors? Well, you know, if we want to minimize the total distance walked, we would place one at a quarter uh, from the um, from the western western side here, or from the left hand side. So W Westy here, uh, and the other uh, three quarters. Uh, of the distance, okay? So this would be the location or set of locations that minimized the transport cost. Is this a Nash equilibrium? Is this a set of strategies or a set of locations such that none of the players has an incentive to unilaterally deviate? Uh, no, okay? So just uh, let's exemplify that. Say, um, so in, in this case, you know, we, we say, uh, the, the, the people on the beach go to the closest one. So the original here, everyone to the right of 500 will go to Easty. Everyone to the left of 500 would go to Westy. Okay, what if now Easty were to relocate here? Well, she would get all the customers to the right because she would be the closest one to them. And Westy would only get well, 250 or plus one or two or just a handful of people are in, in between them here, okay? So the original was not an equilibrium. Easty had a unilateral uh, incentive to deviate here. Uh, it was good for her to, um, to deviate, to do something else, given what Westy was doing. But is this new set of strategies an equilibrium? No. Westy has an incentive to relocate here, right? She just moves to the right of, of Easty. Um, she will be taking all of these uh, customers. Okay, and we could think of this, you know, any kind of position that we take out here, there would be incentives to relocate, except for one set of strategies, which is where both are locating in the middle. Uh, so that would be uh, an Nash equilibrium. So let's uh, just highlight that. So we have Easty and Westy locating uh, right in the middle. At, at the middle is uh, a Nash equilibrium. It's, none of them has an incentive to unilaterally deviate. Okay, so they each get half the market by locating here. Um, if they were to move. They would just be getting uh, fewer, uh, fewer, fewer customers. Okay, um, and of course, in some sense, the outcome here is you know bad for for welfare. We have no product differentiation. They're located in the same spot, uh, 
which means that um, people have uh, a higher transport cost that are further from their uh, preferred alternative uh, in many cases than they would be uh, under the, 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 the first solution that we looked at, okay?